Hey guys, Masterkiz here and today we're going to do a basic tutorial with After Effects and in this tutorial I'm going to try and explain how you can do nice looking image overlays and basic overlay animation using this program and what we'll start with is as this, I should begin by saying this tutorial assumes you have some After Effects knowledge in the way that uh, you can add and compose basic elements and uh, if you don't know how it works, I will try and be slow and I'll try and make it as simple as I possibly can. Uh, but just try and keep up and try and follow along. Like I said, it is a basic tutorial and uh, let's, let's see how we go. We'll start with a clip first. So we'll drag in a clip to our composition. Today we've just got a basic Call of Duty clip. Just scrub through, make sure it works. It's fine. What we want to do is... The first example will be if you wanted to say brand your your video and what we can do is we'll just use this as an example this is just a ninja star that i made for another project i did for a friend we'll just shrink it down a little bit and we'll chuck it up here we'll keep it fairly large so that you can see it now what that's done there is that has done a basic image overlay into our composition and you'll see that when it when the composition plays the Ninja Star will stay there. So that's one way that you could actually brand your video by having your logo up there in the corner. Now you say, Master Kids, that that's extremely basic. It's it's too basic. Well what we're gonna do is let's let's fade it in so it looks looks a little more professional. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select down here, we're gonna drop the transform controls down. We're going to click the stopwatch next to the word opacity and what that will do is it creates what's called a keyframe here. A keyframe is an event marker in this program where where this keyframe begins you can specify that you want this layer to do something. Now what we want this layer to do at this keyframe is we want it to be invisible. So we drag the opacity to zero. Now you'll see that layer is completely gone. So we scrub through, that layer doesn't exist anymore. Now what we want to do is create another half of the keyframe but we want it to be probably about here, about five seconds. Now if we drag the opacity up to 100, you'll see it creates a new keyframe. This is now a keyframe pair. What it means is we have keyframe A, which specifies that that ninja star should be zero, opaque. And then with this one, it says that it should be 100% opaque. Now if we go between them, you'll see that it fades, which looks quite neat. So at zero, time indicator there is no star and then it slowly fades in and at five seconds it's completely visible now if you wanted it to stay invisible for longer all you need to do is click this keyframe and drag it closer so that means anything behind this keyframe will be invisible anything between these two keyframes that's when the star will fade so you see at the very start of the clip now it's visible and once we hit the keyframe it will do a nice quick fade in now, you're probably saying, Master Kids, that's, that's nice, but it's still extremely basic. What we'll do now is we'll just explain very quickly how to do a basic animation on it. Let's say you had a logo and you wanted it to spin or you wanted something to, to happen to the logo, maybe momentarily or maybe even throughout the whole video. What we will do is we will drag and we'll hold Shift and that will snap our timeline to the closest keyframe. And what we want to do now is we'll click the stopwatch next to rotation here. And what we want to happen is we want that star to rotate a few times between, let's say, where we are now, which is about three and a half seconds to eight seconds. We want it to rotate maybe twice. So if we type two here, done. You see it creates a new keyframe pair between here and here, which means that between here, which is about four seconds, you know, three and a half seconds, and between eight, it will rotate twice. So if we scrub back, you'll see that at the start of the clip, it's invisible, and then it'll slowly fade in. And as it fades in, now it's spinning. So what that means is you could have your clip animate in, and then when you get to this keyframe, it will stop spinning. That could be a logo, it could be another video clip, it could be anything you want. It could be a picture of a cheeseburger, it could be anything you want. I'm just using this as an example. 
And something you could also do if you wanted it even more amazing, you could actually scale it during this process. So we hold shift again, we snap to the closest keyframes, we click scale. Now you'll see scale is fairly small. I've scaled the start down at the start of the video. If we drag it out to here and hold shift, it will snap to this keyframe and we go up to 98%. Now you'll see what happens is that it will fade in and it will grow. And we get to that point and cha-ching, it stops spinning and it's in. So, but it's basically, that's just a basic example of what you can do with this program. It's extremely powerful and this is a very simple tutorial, but used correctly, it can look really professional to have something simple like a logo animate in, maybe change its size and then stay on the screen. And the advantage with this software is you can edit in complete real time. You can drag it to the middle of the screen and it will do exactly the same thing. So you can, you can drag your logo exactly where you want. All your animation presets down here will stay the same. You could even have it just up in the corner like this so that it fades in and you can sort of see the spikes getting bigger. But that was a very basic tutorial for you guys. If you liked it, let me know. If you want to see any tutorials from After Effects or Vegas, let me know and I'll see if I can help you guys out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.